All right, so this is a, uh, a friend of mine's uh, Nismo. Very nice car. I built the motor. He put the car together. It's a big single turbo setup, but um, you know, it's a lot of money in this car, but he didn't put all the money into the fuel system, and he's going to tell you uh, how he uh, pulls 800 horsepower out of this thing on a Mustang dyno at right under 20 pounds of boost. So explain from the tank kind of up front and how you use a factory rail. All right, so the car is a twin pump. Um CJM system, shout out CJM for supplying me with the best of fuel components. Primary pump is a Hellcat 525, secondary is a AM 340. Um, stock fuel rails, surprisingly, but uh, still staying back towards the tank. Uh, CJM with the fuel return system as well, so uh, feed line is what they you know, call in their kit, and they're using the stock fuel line for the return system on through the air motor fuel pressure regulator and you're running a, are you running a, a mini com, a mini uh compact air motive or right yeah okay okay then uh as far as fuel rail oem fuel rails 37g fuel rails didn't find it too necessary to upgrade them it, it does look good but it's not really needed uh, su supplying the fuel into the cylinders just standard fic 1650 cc injectors this car runs on 93 and E85. Yeah, man. So, yeah, all these guys that are running twin rail, running, trying to, uh, attempting to run 1700 cc ID, you know, you can only do that with I, uh, FIC injectors and then all this other crazy pump stuff. It's, it's the, it doesn't need that. You don't need all the rail upgrades. You can see there's nothing special going on over there. <laughs> 